It's my turn now. After I do this coat. That's two already. Your sister's right, Kitty. It's her turn to paint now, okay? Oh. I guess I have been hogging the brush. Here you go, Mimi. All right. Whoops. Sorry, Molly. The circus is coming. The circus is coming. <gasps> what are you talking about, Thomas? An animal circus just came to town. Where is it? At the fairgrounds. They're setting up right now. Wow, a circus. Oh, we have to go see. Wait for me, All right, Kitty. I got the brush. <laughs> How are we supposed to finish if they keep running away? I'll finish. Huh? Are you sure? Just try to use even strokes and paint with the grain, okay? Mm -hmm. Over at the fairgrounds, there was a lot of activity, and the crew were hard at work setting up the big top. There were also lots of animals to take care of, and some were even practicing their acts already. It was all very fun to watch. Albert, they play in the parade! Look! That mouse is juggling! Wow! This is so neat! I can't wait to go to the big tent! I hope they have a trapeze in there! Let's go see if we can get in there, okay? Yeah. I would love to be an acrobat. Maybe we'll see some. Hi, you guys. Hi, Kathy. How are you? I just saw the elephants and fed them peanuts. Are you really? here? Yes, they're in a pen over there. You can feed them and pet their trunks. I want to go. Come on, I'll show Let's you. Let's go look around some more, and we'll pet the elephants later. OK. I didn't know they used so many trailers. You've got to get this new trick perfect for the show. Now let's try it again, Sam. Look, Mimi, the seals are having practice. That's it, Sam. Keep it spinning now. That looks really hard to balance a plate like that. Especially since his tusk is so pointy. He looks like he's having a hard time with it. Yeah, it's a little wobbly. Now toss it in the air. Oh. <laughs> This won't do it all in front of people. You've got to learn this trick or I won't be able to let you keep performing, Sam. I'm trying my best, Mr. Jones. Well, it's not good enough. I'm sorry, Sam, but I have to make sure the acts are good if I want people to come and watch the show. I can't afford for you to fail. Let's go take a closer look now that he's gone. They must be sad to think Sam might have to go. I really hope he learns that new trick before the circus opens. Let's leave them alone so they can practice. I thought I heard someone. That afternoon, there was a big parade to let everyone know that the circus was in town. It was neat to see all of the animals and everyone stopped to watch. I think the parade will be coming by soon. Sweetheart, Dad, come out. The parade will be here soon. Mom, can we go watch it down on the corner? Then we'll be right in front. Sure, but you be careful. Okay. Come on, Tiny Chum, let's right go. Right behind you. <laughs> Hello! Come see us soon! Whee! We will! Thank you! That night, Kitty and Mimi both went to bed thinking about the parade and the circus and the seal family. I'm so excited about going to the circus, aren't you? Oh, you don't sound like it. Are you thinking of the seals? Yes, and it makes me feel bad for them, especially the big one called Sam. I keep remembering their sad faces. He still has time to practice that trick and get it perfect in time for the show. But what if he doesn't manage to get it? You've got to learn this trick or I won't be able to let you keep performing. He could still stay and watch. But the owner said he couldn't afford him. So what if he made him go to the zoo where he couldn't see his family anymore? 
Do you think he would? That would be really hard for all of them then. Hmm, I know. It could happen, or he would go back and live in the ocean again. He wouldn't know how. That's true, because he's probably been in the circus all his life, and that's all he knows. And if the circus owner doesn't need him, he'll be all alone. Mimi. What, Kitty? We could go talk to the circus owner and offer to help Sam learn the new trick so he can stay in the circus. Besides, he won't be able to get another seal around here who could learn a trick in time for the show. Do you think he'll listen to us? We've got to try it. I don't want Sam to have to leave. Let me make sure I understand this. You want to help train my seals and you don't want to be paid? That's right, sir. We heard you talking to Sam yesterday about learning that new plate trick, and we don't want him to have to leave, so that's why we're here. Have you ever trained animals of any kind before? No, but we're both very patient. Because this isn't all fun and games like you see in the show. We know it's hard work, but we don't want you to make Sam leave and move into the zoo. Mm. <gasps> I wouldn't do that. Oh, oh did you mean? Well, actually, they might all have to find new homes if we don't have a good turnout here. What do you mean? It takes a lot of work and money to run this show. I have lots of animals to care for. I have to pay the crew, and I have to organize things. I do everything. And I'm the ringmaster. But if we don't sell out all of our performances, this will be the last show for all of us. The best thing you could do for Sam would be to buy two tickets and tell all of your friends to come. about everything involved in putting together a circus. Neither did I, but if I had a lot of money, I would buy every single ticket to make sure the show sold out every time. Hey, that's it. You just gave me a really good idea, Mimi. What is it? To sell out. We need people, so we have to get lots of people to come. How will we do that? By having a parade like they did yesterday and inviting everybody. <gasps> just the two of us, Kitty? No, we'll find some helpers. Hi, you guys. Mind if I join you? No, actually, we were going to get you. We need you to help save the circus. Is it going to close or something? Not if you join our parade. <laughs> After explaining the situation to Thomas, they went to find more friends to join the parade. Then they went to see the head clown. Mr. Clown? Huh? Mm, you missed the makeup lesson. I'm finished for today. You can come back tomorrow if you want. Actually, we were wondering if we could borrow some of your costumes and instruments. Do you promise you'll bring them back in time for the show? Mm-hmm. We promise. Soon after, they were in costumes, and they were marching happily down a village street, inviting people huh? to the circus. Come and see the circus at the fairgrounds! It's great fun for everyone. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Maybe you should keep your eyes uncovered from now on. That's fine by me, Thomas, because it's really hot under here. Let's get busy then. Howl, everyone. Come and laugh. Come and see our amazing circus acts. Bring the whole family. You don't want to miss our show. That's right, folks. Don't you miss it. You'll see clowns and jugglers and acrobats, too. Just follow the directions on the circus flyer. That's right. We're easy to find. Just follow Main Street to the show. Huh? This sounds great. I haven't been to the circus since I was a little boy. While the kids were having the parade, Sam and his family were hard at work practicing, and Mr. Jones was worrying. So how are the ticket sales going this afternoon, Joe? They're a bit slow, but it's still early. That's true. I think we should get some more people coming in a while from out of town, too. Some little kids decided to put on a parade. You mean they're out promoting the show? I think so. They said they wanted to make sure Sam had a job. I think I met those two girls. They came and talked to me earlier. We know it's hard work, but we don't want you to make Sam leave and move into the zoo. Hmm. Are you sure you don't want us to get down now? Yes, it's just the spinning that's hard. I'm not sure Sam's up for tonight's show. He's having a hard time with that new trick. He is? Yes. We've been practicing very hard, but he just can't seem to do the plate toss well. 
and I'm afraid that it's starting to affect his confidence. Maybe you could watch and try to help him figure it out. All right, now, let's pretend it's showtime and toss those plates really high. Meanwhile, the parade was covering lots of ground. They had told everyone in and around town about the show, and that night there were fireworks to announce the official opening. Joe the Clown came out to watch them just in case they were his last, and Mr. Jones was really worried. I have a feeling this could be my last appearance as ringmaster. When it was almost showtime, Joe the Clown went to get the Seal family. Enjoy your performance tonight, everyone, because from the looks of it, it could be the last. It's all my fault. If it weren't for me, we would be more exciting. I'll go and tell Mr. Jones to replace me. He could never replace you, Sam. You're just having a small lack of confidence. Joe's right there. You're the best SEAL performer ever. And who else would be willing to hold all three of us on his back, huh? But I can't get the new trick. Since when do you give up in the middle of learning something new, my friend? You're the reason I'm still in the circus, because you always told me to believe in myself and it'd work out. I know, and thanks for trying, Joe. But I just can't get this new trick down, and I'm afraid that I'll drop the plate during the show and ruin it. I'd rather not take the chance. But there are lots of people hoping to see you, Sam. There are even some little girls working to save our show. What do you mean? Come with me. You see those little kids over there? Ice cream! Get your ice cream! Ice cream kitty! Enjoy your popcorn, sir. Yum! <laughs> They're doing all of this to save the circus and your job. They are? They heard Mr. Jones say you had to learn the new trick if you wanted to keep performing. <sighs> are you sure about that? Yes, because they told me all about it this afternoon. They borrowed some costumes and instruments and paraded for us to keep your family together. <laughs> They've worked really hard, Sam. You Just promise me you won't let Thank all you. of their hard work go for nothing tonight, okay? I know you're having a hard time, and it's not as easy as it used to be. But we're all behind you, and we believe in you. <sighs> Kitty, I don't think our parade worked. What do you mean, Mimi? I've seen lots of people already, and they're having fun. But the tent looks empty. Let's go talk to Mr. Jones and see if we can stall. That's a good idea. What makes you so sure that all of the people who were planning to come haven't shown up here yet? Because we talked to a lot of them. They, they all said, said they would come. come. Well, people do have a tendency to change their minds. Can't we wait a little more? I know more people will show up. Huh? I don't think so. People are getting impatient. Hmm. Hey, do you want to sit with us? <gasps> May I have your attention, please? Thank you all for coming out tonight and welcome to the show. It should be a great evening full of thrills, chills, and exciting circus entertainment. We have something to please every one of you. You'll see clowns and jugglers, elephants and giraffes, acrobats and seals. So without further ado, I invite you to sit back and enjoy. Let's start the show! You're always hungry. Mm. Excuse me, over here. Mm. Mm. Don't buy another one. You can share mine. I will. 
was hoping you might say that. Now, folks, let's hear a big round of applause, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> there sure are a lot of empty seats out there. While the circus was underway, Kitty and Mimi were trying to fill those empty seats. Come to the animal circus at the fairgrounds. Don't miss the great acrobats. <gasps> Officer McDonald. Well, hello there, you two. What are you doing out here at this hour? Filling up seats. We're trying to get people to go to the circus tonight. The one at the fairgrounds? Yes, but hardly anybody has shown up and it started. That's strange because everyone I talked to today said that they were going. Could you tell other people to go too, officer? Just tell them to follow Main Street all the way to the fairgrounds, okay? Main Street to the fairgrounds? Are those the directions you gave out to everyone you saw today? I think I know why your circus is empty. Make way! Make way, everybody! I'm going to clear a traffic jam, folks. Huh? Who's our bus? Officer McDonald was right. Since Kitty and Mimi had told everyone to use Main Street, there were too many people on the same street, and soon a big traffic jam had formed. Uh, uh, what a mess! Uh. Luckily, Officer McDonald knew just what to do. Enjoy the circus, everyone, and don't forget to try and use other streets to get home tonight. Ugh. I hope a few more people show up for the show tonight. Me too, but I don't think a few is going to make much difference now. Huh? Huh? Kitty, Mimi, I found the people you are looking for. <gasps> it's Officer McDonald! And he's bringing a huge crowd! Yay! We did it! We did it! Back at the circus, the acrobats were a big hit. And so the clowns. <laughs> we need to try to get there before the last act so Mr. Jones sees up there. Let's just hope they're all taking their time too. Now, please give a big round of applause for Sheila Skippy. Well, you're on, guys, so just go out and enjoy. This could be the last time Sam goes out there. Maybe I should tell him to forget about doing the new trick tonight. Mr. Jones! Mr. Jones! You'll never believe this! There's a huge crowd of people coming now. They're headed here at full speed! Really? Are you sure about that, Joe? Yes, I saw them myself! We've got a full house. <laughs> <laughs> we might not have to close. We might not have to close. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to witness a spectacular display of concentration. An actor will surely have you on the edges of your seats. The great Sia family. I sure hope their act goes well. Until you see what's coming up next. Sam and his family are the greatest balancing act in the whole circus world. Be strong, Sam. You can do it. <laughs> Let's give them some encouragement, okay, folks? He looks good. He does. Now we're going to speed things up and make it even more exciting. Show them how it's done now. Oh, my God. 
Come on, Sam. You can do it, my old friend. Hang in there now. Now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, watch very carefully. We're making true circus history. Are you ready, Dad? I think so. I just need to keep my concentration and think positive. <laughs> okay, time to hop on my back. <laughs> After the show, Mr. Jones invited Kitty and Mimi and their friends over to say thank you. Did you get enough people here tonight to keep the circus open, Mr. Jones? I'm not sure, but it's a very good start, Kitty. We've sold out the next three nights at least, and that's not counting all the food sales. Even if we do close, I'm very thankful for all that you did. When will you know? Oh, probably not for a few more days, I think. After we pay all the bills. Unfortunately, I have a lot of debts to repay before the circus can be running at a decent profit and we can feel secure. But it just might work out. And if all goes well and we keep selling out like this, we'll be able to stay open for a long time and eventually we might be able to travel the world. But there is one thing I'm sure of, and that's that I'll always have the best seats saved for you. And that's starting right now. Thank you, sir. Mr. Jones, that's really nice of you. And that goes for all of you. <laughs> and you can come visit Sam whenever you want. And you could even help them come up with some new tricks that don't make Sam carry all of them on his back. Does that mean that Sam gets to stay in the circus and perform with you? As long as he wants. I'd better go and tell Sam right away. Mr. Jones, that's so great. And you guys are great too, you know. You saved our show. We were happy to, even though we did cause a big traffic jam. Mm. Oh, yes. <laughs> I heard about that. <laughs> 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 